What's up guys and welcome to the show. I'm Brandon here as you all know from Hemi Cruising and today I've got a how-to video for you. We're out here working on my 1995 Honda Del Sol and today I'm going to show you how to replace the bulbs in your climate control um, your climate control unit, your accessory switches, and your gauge cluster with new LED bulbs. This is a pretty straightforward install. There's not a lot to it. Um, you're just changing out bulbs, but um, it is kind of difficult to get some of these things out, like the climate control um, and the gauge cluster. Uh, but I'm gonna show you how to do all of that to the best of my ability. I hope that this is useful to some Del Sol owners out there. I've tried in the past, um, or trying to find information on how to do this was a bit of a problem a lot of people there's a few videos out there but nobody really shows how to do it in depth so I'm gonna try my best to convey it as best as I can and show you how to get this out and get these bulbs replaced um, the links for the bulbs that you'll be using they're down in the description below uh, a full write-up on what you need is down in the description below you can do all of this with common hand tools you don't need anything fancy or anything like that but we're going to go on ahead and get into it. I'm going to show you the tools that we're going to be using and we're going to go from there. Well, these are the tools that we're going to be using for this install today. You're going to want um, some type of trim removal tool. This just makes pulling interior pieces apart without damaging them a lot better. Uh, you're going to want a screwdriver with assorted bits. Um, a pair of needle nose pliers is going to be helpful. You may want a flashlight to uh, look down inside the dash. You're going to want a extension, a socket of some sort. I apologize about the glare. The sun's kind of coming in right here. I've got these just laid out in the floorboard. And then you're going to want a few sockets. I've got an 8, 9, and a 10 millimeter. Um, don't know exactly what size we'll be using out of there. That's why I just grabbed a handful. But yeah, uh, this should be really straightforward and enjoyable today. And So I hope you get something out of it. But let's get to it. The first thing we got to do is remove the center console. Alright guys, the first thing you're going to want to do to get started with this is first of all, remove your keys um, from the ignition. That's always helpful. You're going to want to disconnect any accessories that you may have hooked up. Like uh, I've got my wireless charging dock hooked up here for my phone. You want to just set that to the side. Uh, you're going to want to take the gear shift knob off. Make sure your e-brake is set before you go tearing all this apart. Then you're going to want to grab a screwdriver with a Phillips head. And there are several screws that you're going to take out of this. Um, there's two back here in the back that you'll have to move the seat forward. And then there's two right here in the front. You're going to want to take these screws out. And set them off to the side somewhere where they're going to be safe. Once you got the screws taken out, all that happens is the console just lifts up out of here out of the way watch out for your shift boot and then you can set that out to the side the same thing with the front the boot just lifts up and then that slides out and then again watch your uh, watch your emergency brake boot And that just slides up out of there like so and you'll want to take and clean behind all that uh, when you get the chance but now you have access to your radio and you can get that out you're gonna need a screw your screwdriver again same bolt or same Phillips head whoops 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 Set those screws off to the side. Okay. 
All right, and then once your radio is out, you can just, of course, unplug all of the connectors on it. You can set it off to the side as well. All right, guys, so there's a screw on the bottom of the uh, climate control box, and you kind of got to do some finagling to get a screwdriver up in here to get it out. Um, so you're just going to want to kind of wiggle your way around. Maybe you can bite onto it. All right, finally got that screw out. That one was up in there, a doozy. But now you should be able to slide the climate control unit forward and out of its home here in the dash. There is a cable that you have to disconnect somewhere. I don't find it. Oh, it's underneath the glove box over here on the passenger side. Okay, so this cable here, this is where the signal comes in out of the AC, uh, the AC control box. This controls uh, fan speed, I believe, and stuff like that. And or no, this controls temperature. So you just want to disconnect that cable, and then your AC should be able to slide out. So with that cable disconnected, there shouldn't be anything else holding your AC in place. So you should be able to just slide this on out of here now. You'll want to disconnect. There's some harnesses that you're going to have to disconnect. There you go. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Now your climate control's out. And we can dismantle this to replace the LEDs that are in it. So with our climate control box out of the way, next up I want to get the gauge cluster out and our switches up here. The switches are really easy. You're just going to want to slowly pull on them and the whole unit's going to come out where you can disconnect the switches. Now I've already done this side of switches. Um, that way I could see kind of how they're going to look. So we won't have to worry about those. But it's the same for both sides. You just kind of give them a little tug. They come right out. You can unplug the wiring harness and then they will come out as a unit. And then for the gauge cluster itself, you're gonna to have to drop the steering wheel all the way and take a screwdriver with, I believe, a P1 bolt on it, or a P1 head, maybe a P2, yeah, it's a P2. And then there's two screws up here at the top of the instrument cluster that you're gonna to have to remove. So you remove those two screws. Be careful not to drop any screws. Set those to the side and then this top garnish piece, very carefully just pull it out away from the dash and it'll come undone. Set it off to the side along with everything else. And then you will be greeted with the gauge or the instrument panel screws. There's three of them. There's one in the center then there's two on each side. You're just going to want to pull those out. Set them over here. Then you're going to want to break out your ratchet, put your socket in there. Get the center one out. Whoops. Set that right there. And then your gauge cluster should ease out of there and you're going to want to disconnect the harnesses. There's two on the top I believe and then one for the clock 
or there's one, excuse me, there's one for the clock, one for the airbag, and then one for power. So once you've disconnected those harnesses, you now have got your gauge cluster. So now from here, we're gonna go inside and we're actually gonna do the LED swapping process. All right, guys, so now that you've got your components out of the vehicle, this is gonna go a lot easier, although it is gonna involve some trial and error, as I'm gonna show you here in just a second. So we're gonna start with the gauge cluster. First off, you're gonna want your LEDs. The LEDs that we are using for the gauge cluster and for the climate control are 74 CWHP 3s from Super Bright LEDs. These little suckers are tiny. Um, there's the barcode so you can see what we're talking about here. And there's a total of, I think, nine of them in the instrument cluster and two or three in the climate control. But these are real easy to swap out. Um, they just involve some trial and error because LEDs care about polarity. So I've already replaced these with LEDs once, but they were cheap eBay LEDs and they sucked and they were garbage and they didn't work right and they flickered and it was a pain. They were just terrible. So we're going to swap them out with some good LEDs now. But this makes it really easy because I've already changed these so I know what to go in here and look for. So we're going to pull out the old bulbs right there and replace them with the new ones. Whoops, 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 whoops. Come on. Get out of there. They do like to get stuck in the packaging. All right, that one's in there and you can see how that looks with a LED installed. And then we're just gonna slot it back down into the gauge cluster. And we're going to repeat this process with all of these cheap LED bulbs. I also want to point this out. So, notice how, on, if this is why you don't get the cheap LEDs from eBay. Notice how this one here, if the camera will focus on it, maybe. But notice how this one here only has one LED on the top of it. Notice how these LEDs from Super Bright have an LED on the top. An LED on the side. These are 360 degree bulbs, so they are going to shine much more light than the traditional uh, 180 degree straight ahead bulbs will. So this is going to make this cluster light up super bright, and because they are good quality LEDs from super bright LEDs, you're not going to have any issues with them. And that's all there is to the gauge cluster, folks, right there. All the LEDs are put in. Um, we'll have to go check for polarity in the car, but that's all there is to it. Next up, I'm going to move on to the switches. The switches here for the aux light and the cruise control light. So these are real easy to do. You don't want to break the tabs, obviously, but they just pop out. like so and if you break the tab it's not really that big of a deal you just want to be careful not to they pop out and you're left with this this is your switch for the cruise control there's two bulbs in these and they're really easy to get out if I can get the other switch out of its bezel there we go And you'll want to take up you'll want to take this time to clean your bezels or paint your bezels, whatever you want to do. I have mine painted blue. But we're gonna focus on the aux light switch here first. So what you need for this is a screwdriver of some kind, preferably a little flathead. So we're just gonna use an extension. 
and then the little baby flathead. I can get it out of here. And you just want to go in on the bottom of these and twist them. And if you twist them, they should come right out. You may have to use a pair of tweezers to get in there and grab a hold to it and yank it out. And then that's what comes out of there. A little incandescent bulb. Now, I said there's two bulbs in here. That's because one is for the indicator to show if it's on or off. I have LEDs on the way for that, but they were back ordered. So right now we're just gonna be installing the white ones for the backlight that like that show up the text on the gate on or on the switch. So for these, these were actually hard to find, and a lot of Del Sol guys are gonna be appreciative. These are the camera will focus neo 3 whps from super bright they are three millimeter t1 cool white leds that are a direct drop-in replacement for the bezel switches i know that several people have been looking for these a lot of people don't know where to oh excuse me don't know where to find them well you know where to find them now go buy some they work amazing and you can get them in all different colors they don't just have cool white that's just what i wanted to go with was cool white for the backlight and then i have some green ones on order that'll be coming in soon for the indicator light so you're just going to want to drop these down in there they will fit you just got to kind of wiggle them There we go. And then once you get them down in there, Once you get them down in there, they should be secure and they're not going anywhere. And that's all there is to swapping out the lights on these switches. Now, actually, I'll take that back. You're going to want to leave these out of the bezel for right now. That way you can plug them up and see if they, uh, see if you need to adjust them because of polarity. So just leave them out of the bezels for right now. It's not going to hurt anything. But that's it for the accessory switches. I this is the part that I was mainly wanting to do this video about. And I hope it was a huge help to some of you Del Sol enthusiasts out there. You now know what to get. Neo3 WHPs from SuperBrightLEDs.com. They work beautifully. I will show you a photo that I took last or that I took of them at, on at night. I'll flash that up here right about now probably. But now we're going to turn our attention to the climate control LEDs. These are easy enough. I think there's two of them in here. You're going to want to take off the face of your climate control, which is really easy. There's just two screws on it and some clips. So for this, you're going to want to, uh, excuse me. 
you're going to want to take the screws out, which is going to be a little bitty screwdriver bit. All right, guys. Well, after fiddling with it for about oh, 15, 20 minutes here, I finally got it open. And what we're looking for is right here in front of us. Anyhow, what we're looking for is right here. There's two bulbs in there. We're going to pull those out, slap some LEDs in, and we will be good to go. There's our bulbs. So we're just going to grab them, yank the old lights out, put the new bulbs in. A pair of tweezers may be helpful for this. There we go. Yank the old ones out. Put the new ones in. These take some of these uh, 74 bulbs, two of them. Slot those in. They may be a little difficult to go in, but they will go in. Whoops. There we go. We got one of them in, I believe. There we go. Now just to grab the other one in. And you gotta be careful because everything in this unit is covered with grease. So just take your time, be careful. And once they're in there, they're in there. All right, and that's all there is to it. You just gotta put this back together now and you'll be good to go. You can see our LEDs in there. That should light up really nice now and not give us any problems. So next step is we're gonna go out to the car. We're gonna hook everything up, test it, see if it's um, the polarity's right, and then we'll put it all back together. All right, guys, well, it's um it's almost midnight actually uh i got the car put back together and i went to work drove all evening with the leds and i can't <laughs> excuse me i can't wait to show you guys how they turned out they look amazing <laughs> so without further ado let's cue some b-roll and see how these things look no there ain't no stopping us Fly without boarding pass Couldn't catch me, I'll be moving fast Call me a shooting star Let them know who you are Flying up in a bar Wish on a star Time to show them who's in charge Call me a shooting star
all right guys well there it is i hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to convert your del sol to all led on the interior i hope this video has been a help to you if you've been ever looking into doing the climate controls or the accessory switches or whatever it may be i hope you found this um, helpful like i said links to all the products used will be down in the description below and yeah you know what to do drop a like on the video if you like it um, dislike it if you don't subscribe to get notified when we upload more stuff we got more modifications coming next week for the del sol and we got more modifications coming next week and they will be here on the channel as we get them out so my name is brandon and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out